love Bakey with Cakey. Yay! Today, we're whipping up Cakey's top five kitchen tips. I can't wait. Tip number one, give it a go, even if it means making a mess. When you make a mistake in the kitchen, grab your sponges and show us your sweet sweep style. You might even be surprised by the moves you bust out. Taking clean to the extreme, I'm flipping over the splitter pile. Tip number two, practice makes better. You may not be an expert baker yet, which can lead to some sticky situations. But that's okay. With a little help from your friends, you can try again. Catch. Tip number three, catify your cooking. With a little imagination, you can make any snack cat-tastic. Try using fruit to make a kitty face. and some pretzel sticks for the whiskers. Try making some yummy kitty paws. And don't worry if they don't come out perfect. That's part of the fun. Uh-oh, I think I made a mistake. My swirl looks more like a smush. It's okay, it'll still taste delicious no matter how it looks. Yum! <laughs> Tip number four, cooking with friends is potastic. Hello there, I am Chef Gabby. I'm Chef Pandy. And I'm Cakey the Cook. With some helping hands, you can take your recipes to new heights. Phew, that's the biggest sandwich I've ever seen. But not only can friends lend a hand, they also make the greatest taste testers. Food tastes better when you can share it with friends. And don't forget about that one friend who always needs an extra snack for the road. I'll take this one for later. Move over, banana. And now for Kiki's final tip. You can never have too many sprinkles. Seriously. The more sprinkles, the better. Now that we've shared Kiki's top five kitchen tips, it's time to have your own yummy fun in the kitchen. Be sure to catch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix to see what sweet treats Kiki's whipping up next.